hello everyone what's up i'm macarius and today our new video uh, after a long time of not uploading uh, today uh, i finished top five in the world in this season of the evolutions like i faced so many evolutions of firecracker evolution rg uh, many lava decks and in and many other decks too against uh, top players too Honestly, I, fi I finished top 5 with this deck. Usually, I used to play it with Fire Zap, but uh, this season I used to face many Firecrackers, so I so Arrows was better. And many other players were using Arrows too. So, today I will show you the gameplay that reached me to this finish. I'm really, really so happy about that with my deck. Like, no other player use it in the top ladder. Like I'm considered this season highest uh, hog mortar uh, player, hi highest hog mortar player finish. So I will show you the replies. Uh, was like some commentaries uh, and like explaining some movies. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you liked, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Now let's start our first game against Dominic, the game that reached me to top five finish. Well, I know uh, Dominic. Dominic is one of the best Lava Loon players in the world. He decided to play. It's okay. Uh, I can go Mortar here because I know his deck, and I was ready with bets because I know he'll go Fiend Dragon, and he was predicting my bets with Captain Dragons. And here I put fire, and here I put fire so that uh, uh, so that he doesn't take uh, so that the Mortar take a second hit to the tower. Mm, and here I go hog. I thought he would go barbarian, so I was keeping guards for barbarians and like spear and bets for lava. He went goblins. Anyway, I didn't uh, arrows the goblins because uh, because I need to keep uh, the arrows for the lava pops. And here I went guards. Uh, I don't want him to make big push in the single. And here I am holding the horde. I don't want to go since uh, that he can arrow the bats. Here uh, it was better to hoard uh, the balloon, but I thought that he was having the elixir of arrows, so that's why I didn't uh, go hoard for the balloon because I thought he would predict me, so I went for the defense. I didn't know that he didn't reach three elixir, so that was better to go hoard, but uh, that's okay, it's not a big mistake. Okay, he went in front of Dragon in the back. He he's he's trying to cycle to another lava, and he was like predicting my hook. Uh, anyway, uh, that's that's okay. Here here I cycled uh, to another fire quickly because I know that he will go skeleton dragon since I went spear and bats. Like I think he he was keeping arrows for the horde. Here I arrows and I know that he will go evil barbs opposite lane. And I know that he was holding arrows, so I must defend with something rather than the horde. Here I know that he will go arrows, so I distract those with the hook. Like this. He pre he didn't predict at all that I would go hook uh, withdrawal all, or all these cards. So that that's probably that made him lose the game. Here I know that he will go skate and dragon. I, I, know, I know that. I went hold, although I know that. Because horde the fire will kill them quickly because this time I'm ready with fire and I want even mortar to connect to the tower and here he knows that he he lost and that there is no way to come back at this game honestly this matchup is good to me I can't lie he played good but honestly he he has nothing to do this matchup is so is so bad to him honestly so let's move to the next one but uh, I think you guys can't hear me uh, with the sound game so I will. So I will mute the sound game and, and so that you guys can hear me just in case the the sound of the game is so hard. So I'm here next game against Raken. Raken also used uh, to known as one of the best uh, Lava Loom players too. But he plays with like Zap and Arrows and Minor instead of uh, the other decks that Dominic was playing. Here we decided to play. Uh, I went to mortar first play. It's always good to go mortar first play against lava players. 
because they usually used to spend a lot uh, on the mortar and that if they did and that if they ignore the mortar the mortar will take a lot of damage like if they decided to go lava coach instead of defending the mortar i will defend and the mortar will take a lot of damage so it's always good to go again a mortar against uh, these players since that i know what they play here i'm cycling to spear and bats because i know he's not having the bin cycle like he he spent it on the horde here i want i wanted to go hook to the the barbarians but uh, i think the position was not good like i didn't expect that those two barbarians go to the tower like i thought they will go back and turn to the hog but uh, it's okay i didn't take a lot of damage like 1000 damage it's fine though here i went to guards to, to distract the inferno dragon and uh, make a way of pressure on the on the tower like i thought for a while that inferno dragon would take like half of my tower so i want to distract it and they take damage too uh okay he went here uh, he went here skeleton dragon this was smart and this was bad fire from me because he went evil barbarians and that I, I i didn't expect that he got the elixir of earth that quickly i thought that he would zip uh, he would zip the bats but he didn't and evil barbs are so broken that i have to put something else to defend and then I see like balloon and I here I was really really in very bad situation like if he defended all the game he can win but let's see how I made come back in that game I think with uh, the lava loon with zap and arrows they can sometimes win that uh, instead of uh, arrows fire arrows fire is easy to me but arrows zap uh, and these decks that Ray can play is harder to deal with uh, here I fight uh, the barbarians, although I know that he has skeleton dragons because I need to damage the tower quickly because I know that he will stack pushes so uh, so I, I need to take uh, any damage because I will be busy in defending his pushes and here I went uh, mortal like this so that the balloon go to mortal and go to the king rather than going to tower so here if uh, here i was forced to fireball the tower because if i went hog he will go evil barbarians and the hog will not take a shot so all, my only choice was firing the, the tower here i'm trying to the dbs the lava and here okay he zapped the bats i was really here in bad situation like he, you see there is love uh, and the balloon pushes and there is like uh, evil barbs in front of dragon to the king and like i'm only three or four elixir so i was really really in very bad situation uh here evil mortar did a great job and here i arrowed so it was good here turned it to be a good situation to me because uh like damage difference is like 600 so so it's it so i can make comeback it's so it's not it's not over yet <laughs> Uh, okay, I went here spear. I went here mortar section. I thought because he would go barbarians in the middle So I went mortar here uh, and also to force something uh, Like if he ignores the mortar uh, the mortar will take a sh shot in the tower Here I didn't expect the skeleton dragon in the middle and the arrows too like I thought after uh, the hit of skeleton dragon and uh, arrows that I lost but uh, the tower survived at 15 hp so i was really really lucky about that and he already zapped the hook so he, he wasn't having any elixir for this tower so this was really really interesting game that i m managed to make impressive comeback from very bad situation okay i am here against pedro pedro is used to be one uh, one of the best players in the world he like have very very good achievements in crl in ladder and uh, he used to he's very good player uh, he was here playing uh, with the drill cracker deck so i i think this matchup uh, a bit to drill uh, like some sometimes i win them sometimes i lose but honestly it's hard to face this uh, drill deck especially against one of the best players so let's see how we deal uh, how we did in this game 
here I was holding arrows so uh, that, that you would put cracker on the hold and here I went mortar uh, because he went mighty mana abilities so he he must put something with a mortar and it's good that I know that he's playing with inferno tower instead of uh, instead of bomb tower here I spammed all in the bridge because I thought that he would need the hook to the king and like he will not have enough elixir for defending the bats and the spear but this was really really smart from him that he needed all back rather than activating the king because I thought like he would put something high and then nado the hook to king rather than of just nado defense backward so that was really smart from him uh, here I was predicting the inferno tower but he put mighty miner and the cracker so that was well played from him here uh, I wanted to activate uh, my king with the hook but he went uh, like interesting needle so uh, okay and here I put bets so that can I can activate the king because king helps a lot in this game against the drill <laughs> okay I went here spear uh, I went I went here guards for the drill because you usually need to keep guards for the drill and here I was forced to go arrows because there were there was many goblins there I, here I don't know what to do uh, I went mortar here yeah? and I went I went the bets was was prediction for the inferno tower uh, the here the five cracker take like two shots in the tower that was really really bad like you needn't take that that a lot of damage here I was uh, okay damaging the mighty miner and the inferno tower here I was putting bets also predicting the inferno tower and here I didn't predict the inferno tower and then he put so like he put inferno tower in good time uh, because sometimes other players are usually get predicted with their inferno tower but he he was reading all of that so that was a uh, good play f good play from him I thought that he would put inferno tower too like I know he back to another inferno tower but he didn't go it and here yeah I arrowed the, the cracker because usually you need to arrow the cracker and the fire the evolution one okay here I went hook I'm I'm trying to cycle to evil mortar because evil mortar like like it makes them uh, over commit in defending it so okay I, I I'm trying to cycle to another mortar I'm trying to apply kind of pressure uh, like he, he's having much damage elite so I need to come back from this situation other, other, otherwise I would lose so here luckily I predicted the inferno tower finally and here he put evil cracker so I should so I should fire uh, it yeah here I went hook I'm trying like to pull the mighty miner back so that the motor shoot with the mighty miner and the tower but it, it didn't like if it survived at this one HB uh, it would shoot in the mighty miner and the tower here I put the hold for damaging the mighty miner and inferno here I'm trying to cycle to other hog here because here if he needed to the king tower he the hog will take two shots so we will be almost save damage the king and the tower so he didn't do that and here I fired both the inferno tower because I know that he wouldn't predict that so here he spent a lot of damage and the motor connect to the tower and here I arrow the cracker and the goblins and that made me win the game like like what you see I fight both the inferno tower and arrows and pressuring with hook and here I fired both the cracker because uh, just in case he needed and yeah he did and then I managed to come back like I was having 1000 damage deficit and like I won uh, with two, with 800 damage elite too so that was really 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 good comeback that firing uh, fireball on the inferno tower turned, turned out the game uh, okay uh, Okay, I am here uh, against Titan. Uh, 
Uh, Titan also used to be uh, one of the best players in the world. Uh, this time he was playing with RG cycle deck. Uh, RG usually a uh, bad counter to my deck because uh, they can cycle to Evo RG and like uh, you don't have anything to damage it. So let's see how I managed to win him. And here I put uh, spears to kill the hunter because I was afraid that he go RG in front of hunter. That would be a bad situation to me. And here, here I was cycling bats. And yeah, I went hog 2 because I know that he's not having e spirit in cycle yet. Not even hunter 2. So that's why I went hog bats like this. And I know if he would go RG, I would go hard immediately because he's not having enough elixir for the fireball. Because he spent a lot, like he spent fisher, he spent skeletons, he spent barbarrel. So I know that he was not having enough elixir for defending the horde. That's why I went to mortar aggressive like this. So you, you, you need to timing your mortar well. Otherwise, if you mortar at any time while he's having RG and fireball elixir, you would immediately lose. So you need like to perfect timing of it. Here we are pretty even in elixir. Uh, okay, he went to ghost back here. I went guards for the ghost. And I know that he would go barbarian for the guards. So I was ready with bets. And here I, I went to uh, hog 2. Uh, just to distract the ghost. I don't want to, to take uh, damage of ghost on the tower. I need to keep this damage lead. And here if he went e uh on the bridge. Uh, it would be killed immediately and will not having enough legs of fireball but he was smart about that I was predicting and here he here he should have fireball the, the horde it takes a lot of damage uh, like he didn't expect that I would fireball the hunter and that it takes all of this damage and here I was waiting uh, with the bats just in case he went e spirit but he didn't so now I can go uh, I can go bats since that he is refusing to use his spirit. And here I fire both the hunter, yeah, uh, because I thought that he would, uh, that would he would have got to another RG at the bridge. And here I put mortal defense. And here I went to hog this time because I know that he would go his spirit because the first time I went to bats he didn't go his spirit, so I predicted that he would go his spirit this time, so I went hog. Uh, this was a bad hunter from him. He would rather uh, uh, better like fireball the, uh, the horde instead of hunter like this. So it was bad hunter from him. And also bad evo RG. Uh, here I cycle to another mortar quickly and the bats too. And yeah, this was so good. Here he put hunter like he was predicting that I would go hook. So uh, I can say also it's bad hunter. And here he went RG and I'm trying to cycle to another mortar so I went hook. <laughs> and here I'm stacking the spear at the back because he's not having a good card to kill the spear like only ghost. So when he went to ghost I went hold like this so that to damage uh, to damage it and kill it. And here I fight both the hunter uh, because I thought that he would go evo RG in front of it. He went over RG at the back, it's okay. I went another mortar defense. If I went to hog, he can defense with fisherman and like he can spam on me on two lanes and that uh, I will lose. So that's why I'm I'm refusing to use hog most of the time. Only if he's solo in elixir I use. And here I put arrows predicting the e-spirit because he, he's having only e-spirit for killing bats. So I went arrows prediction. And here I fire both this just in case he uh, want to go RG push in that lane. And here, okay, I went horde, and I went spear like this. Uh, this was bad spear, spear from me. Luckily that I wait uh, for the bats because otherwise I would lose. And here I put guards on the ghost. I put here cycle evil mortar, and I know here that he will predict my horde, so I didn't uh, go it. I waited, so. That was really, really, really a uh, good prediction from me. That I predicted that he will go fireball to my horde, so I waited. Here I thought that he would go RG opposite lane, but he didn't. And there was not enough time to go RG, so I managed to win. 
So that was really really good game. Uh, okay, I'm I'm here against uh, Morten. Morten this time was uh, playing with minor cycle, his favorite deck. Yeah, Morten used uh, Morten is one of the best players in the world, also one of the best YouTubers too. Uh, like I have much respect to him. I I went to hog here, hog bets because I know that he usually play with minor cycle. So that's okay to go hog bets against minor cycle. And here uh, he is use, he's using wall breakers so that he, I can't activate my king. But I know that he would do that. So I arrest the wall breakers and put spear like this to activate the king and also force another response to the spear. And here I am waiting from him that he go minor. Uh, I went my I went guards uh, like this because I thought that he would go opposite lane of me because minor cycle players usually go uh, opposite lane of their weak tower. I didn't expect that he would go the same lane. So if like I waited uh, one second more, I would go guards to this minor. So that was a bad prediction for me, and that was good move from him. And here, uh, here was not the best bets for me. I spent a lot of elixir here, and also he locked. So uh, I think it, I think I was in bad situation here. Like in minor cycle, you shouldn't uh, make them have that damage lead. But it's that's okay as long as you can cycle to Evo Mortar. Uh, that's okay. You can come back. It was like if there is one hundred damage difference, you can still come back. But more than that. Uh, it seems impossible to come back from this situation. Okay, here I are the wall breakers and uh, ice spirit, and here I put pets prediction on the evil cracker, because I know that he would do this. And here I put mortar uh, defense and offense opposite lane, because there is not any other better play to do. I didn't expect that evil cracker still alive after all of that. And here I put guards and the old breakers. Like look, he's having like 800 damage lead, and I'm really in bad situation. I went here hook bets too, and here I arrows the cracker and bomb tower. Here I also missed the arrows and cracker, like it jumped it away. So as you can see, guys, I I'm I'm really in bad situation. Like look the damage, look the elixir. He's having damage lead. He's having elixir lead. But yeah, after defending Evil Mortar, I was having the, uh, I was having Elixir lead, but I am down a lot of damage, like you can see. I, the hog even the hog didn't even take a shot on the tower. Here I put hold on the bomb tower. I think I, uh, I didn't even expect that he backed to, to Evil Cracker. I didn't count. Like I put arrows prediction for the Cracker. I didn't thought that he got Evil Cracker. But that was luckily that I hit the wall breakers and that mortar connect to the tower. So, like, luckily interaction made, uh, made me come back from the game. Because it was not intentional to arrest the wall breaker, it was for the cracker. Because I, I didn't expect that he back to evoke cracker yet. Here I went to guards predicting the minor. Here I put bets for his bets. And here I went hook. And I should arrows uh, the cracker and this tower too, so I'm now having a bit damage lead. But luckily I cycled it to another evil mortar, and he here went so aggressive, like he shouldn't go aggressive like this. He's now so low in elixir that he can't defend the evil mortar. He just bomb tower, and I know he's that he's now in zero, and the mortar connect to the tower. So that's it. I win. Luckily that uh, Evo Mortar helped me a lot and the Mortar connection when I predicting arrows and all breaker that made me survive this game against Morten. He 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 played well uh, until that until that prediction. I think he played bad after that. Uh, here I am against uh, Alpha QQ. Uh, this guy uh, like playing with drill Inferno Tower Bomber. Is playing with his unique deck. I don't know here he was asking draw, uh, but we usually don't draw, so here I said to play. 
Here uh, I hoarded the bom bomber and the guards on the drill. Uh, I know that he usually uh, makes this same play with other players, so that wasn't new from him. Okay, uh, here I was waiting because he was having elixir lead. Uh, I went best here in the back for the bandit. And here I know that he would go drill and bomb tower and bomber, I uh, mean. So I was ready with the hook and arrows and he put fire spirit with the bandit so I put spear. Here he should have locked the hook because he shouldn't take this hook hit. But I don't know, I think he was keeping the lock for the guards or the spear or for drill push but it was better to lock for the hook because hook damage is so much. And in this game you needn't like, uh, I, I shouldn't take the drill damage and he also shouldn't take the mortar or hook damage. So this game always uh, the towers are close. And here I went hurt. I know that he was having, is having rocket so I'm I'm not worried uh, that you would fireball the horde because I know he's playing with rocket. So the horde here get a lot of value. And here I was uh, high a lot of elixir. Uh, I don't know I was waiting here uh, I, I I thought that he would go bandit prediction for the mortar I didn't know that I am up uh, with like three elixir uh, okay this this was good bandit from him he because he knows that I was not having guards in cycle I am not having a spear too so this was good bandit like I was fortunate to go mortar otherwise the bandit will connect to the tower and get out of damage here I thought that he would go skeleton's uh, distraction to uh, to the horde, so that's why I went uh, let spear for predicting. Uh, here I I, I should have uh, fireballs in front of the tower, but I thought that he was having fire spirit in cycle. Didn't know that he did it back to it yet. Okay, here I hoarded the bandit. And here I went hog, I went bats. Yeah, I I'm here to, uh, trying to pressure as much as I can. Uh, okay, and here I went uh, evil mortar. I'm just looking for a charger. That's why I'm here uh, slow in commentary. Okay, here and I are the bandit and skeletons for, so that the hook can take a shot on the tower. So I, I'm here having a good damage lead, uh, so that was really good to me. Here I put mortar distraction for the bomber and I put guys for the drill. And I was ready with the spear in the middle for the bandit. And here, if the skeletons, if they shot in the tower, uh, they would take it, so uh, I should arrow it and the first spirit too. And here I hold. He, he he turned to be nervous and like spamming all in the bridge like he wanted to back from this situation this was bad hook from me it was better like to go hook in front of bandit and the pets and like making more the pressure in the opposite lane but uh, this was really uh, this was bad hook from me I don't have to use it and here I went to guards uh, I thought that mortar would shoot to the bomber they expect that it's still alive here I went to best because he would fire spirit in the horde. Here I'm cycling to evil mortar. And here I I predicted the bandit with the guards like I was ready with it. And then he's not having anything to do for this evil mortar. So that's over. Evil mortar connected to the tower and that's the game. He's having nothing to do to deal with this evil mortar. So that was really a good game. Alright, uh, there's two more games left, yeah. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go watch this one. I am here against Susa. Susa is German player and used to be one of the best uh, players in the world too. 
is having good achievement in global tournament in ladder and he's doing good too in CRL so he was playing him minor cycle he usually play with minor cycle decks so let's see how I managed to deal with him in this game yeah, here I was forced to put something on that wall breaker here I was wanting arrows uh, to predict in the firecracker but yeah, that was so risky to predict because if I predicted wrong I will lose here I was forced to like like spin the earth on the bats and the cracker I can't activate the king in this situation and here here he should have locked the hook too because uh, the hook damage is a lot but I think that he was having uh, like 500 damage so he accepted to take that damage uh, that hook damage so that's okay not bad because if he would go lock like I uh, will be having elixir lead he didn't go lock so I am having good damage so I really don't know about that and here mortal luckily shot on the wall breaker this was bad wall breakers from him bad timing here I went toward uh, I didn't expect that he backed to evo cracker yet uh, I, re I really don't know how he backed to it so quickly uh, he put so fast minor so uh, that I didn't even uh, like I didn't even uh, activate the king with the bets because if I activate the king with the bets, the evil cracker will shoot to the tower and I'm having nothing to eat. So, so that was better to put bets on the arrows like this. Like I spent a lot, but uh, better than taking evil cracker damage on the tower. And I'm still having the good damage, and he's only up uh, upper than me with like two and or three elixir. So. Uh, I'm not in bad situations, it's okay, I'm having good damage and I'm not a uh, down out of elixir. I went toward here like this because I thought that he would go minor with this bush. Uh, here this was bad luck from him because this tower was uh, was more HP tower and like uh, the hook wouldn't even take a shot so this was bad luck from him. And here I I could activate the king like this he put look like this uh, thinking that i would put spear in the bats but i put spear for activating the king against the cracker okay i went here bats for the minor and i here i'm really in a good spot like i'm cycling to evil mortar evil mortar shot to the tower like look it took another shot too to the tower so that was really really good damage to me i'm upper than him now with like 100 damage like 1000 damage i mean so uh that was really really good situation to me i here i thought that he would go guard uh, minor distraction for the mortar but uh okay he went in the back that's okay though i'm from here need to keep uh i i need to, to keep this damage lead i need to defense like almost all the game and then cycling to fireball at the end uh, but here also i was uh, pressuring with mortar so that i don't give him the chance of like uh, always going minor uh, pushes i went okay went log here for the spear uh if i didn't go spear he would go look to the guards and here i put hook too because i thought that he would go bomb tower on the evil mortar so that evil mortar and the hog uh, pushes is so annoying to him for stop and here i fireball the crack evil cracker and the tower that was a good value here i cycle to another mortar i didn't expect this time that he would go bomb tower to the mortar because i had predicted first time and he didn't here i kept the arrows from miner and the goblins here i put bets for uh, for ice spirit and here I was forced to fireball the wall breaker, otherwise it would take 500 damage on the tower. Okay, he went here. Guard, I went here guards. Uh, he was pressuring me hard here. Luckily, cracker also didn't shoot on the tower, so that's that's good. And now there's like two, uh, 20 seconds left, and I'm like having uh, like 900 damage. Here I put bets predicting the evil cracker. Just in case that he went evil cracker for the spear and like he did so uh, it was good prediction for me and yeah and that's it that's it i managed to win against him that was really good okay and here last game against friend 
this game was really really uh, is, is a surprise for you so let's see what happened in this game that was really really unexpected uh, here he wanted to, to draw but I wanted to play because I wanted to push so we usually, we sometimes draw we sometimes play so that's okay uh, I wanted to play this time I went spear here for the bumper I know that he this guy usually play with the level one arrow snowball deck uh, it's like a bit harder to like uh, similar to a can deck but with some card differences but uh, usually this game is not easy I think it's balanced one because uh, the arrows and the snowball make it uh, harder than the arrows at fireball and here I was in that situation I tried this time like fireball the lava and arrows uh, I, I didn't expect that uh, it takes all this damage like I thought that the balloon will take only, will take only like one or two shots on the tower and that's it I didn't expect that it take all of that damage uh, like I'm first time uh, defending like this like fireballs a balloon lava and then arms it uh, I, I rarely do that so I didn't expect that all of this damage would happen anyway that's okay I'm I'm having good damage in in this in his weak tower so it's still come uh, so that I can still come back from this situation that's not so bad I went mortar here so that I can take his tower and like uh, I uh, like I stop his level long push I, I make it so late here I went to guards as a kind of pressure like I was hoping that he goes call me on it he didn't and he went balloon and the arrows for the horde and here I'm really really in bad situation like uh, what I'm supposed to do here here I was hoping that the balloon didn't take the second shot and yeah it didn't so I was lucky about that here I went evil mortar uh, I was holding arrows for uh, just in case that he won't scare me on it or like minions I didn't expect that he would go in front of dragon so that's why I put delay bets and here I arrow the minions because uh, because I want to keep the horde for killing the lava and here I put spear and mortar like this uh, because I thought that he would go more bomber on the spear not uh, not arrows on it if I know that he would go arrows I would like go hook and then bets for the balloon I was here know that he will he will not give me uh, arrows value that he he predicted that I will go arrows so I didn't so I didn't uh, go arrows because that was also risk prediction to me here I'm I'm really in bad situation there is lava bush coming and I don't know how to, what to do I'm not having anything here I was just uh, putting motor here trying to take damage and make the balloon delay and here I fire ball here he snowballed trying to make the balloon shot also I'm here luckily too that the balloon didn't uh, take a second shot on the tower if it took that uh, the game will be over here I put hold balloon and this uh, hold the mortar at the same time because I thought that he would put a final tower predict a final dragon predicting my mortar so that the hold would kill an immortal to the tower but he put infernal tower uh, infernal dragon in the back so that was bad hold from me then here I put hold for the balloon uh, and here I went uh, mortar I think I was holding arrows for the skarmy yeah i put arrows it was a bit late but it's okay here i was putting bets because i was predicting inferno dragon here i didn't expect that minion still alive but i know here he's not having snowball so i know that the hook will take a shot so that i should fireball it too and here i put hold predicting the lava i need to, to like cycle very quickly to another arrows fireball here i should defense so i put arrows like this if i arrows the fireball the tower he would take my tower first here I know that I'm forced to go mortar and look here's the bomb death uh, to the tower and here's this scar me and he put and he put fireball and I put fireball look 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 what happened here here I thought that I am immediately lost from bomber damage like look look here 
he missed the snowball he, he missed the snowball in the tower so it, like he put in weird in weird spot that made him lose the game if he snowballed the tower he would have won uh, I didn't expect that the bomb death uh, to the tower also I didn't expect uh, the bombard uh, would shot too so that was really, really I'm, I'm really lucky in this game so that was all about this season uh, and yeah here uh, here at the end was against uh, other some players too Uh, like the and here I I won, I won Muhammad Light. He finished top one. He's so good. And here uh, yesterday I met Dominic and won him too. I won Mogi. I won Sandbox. I lost here against Pedro. I won here uh, at Nen. So that was all about this season. Finishing top five in the world with my deck. That's really really something I'm really so glad for this season and i think about back uploading youtube again if you guys interested in learning more about this deck i will help you guys with videos if you guys interested and thank you all for all su for support and for uh, for supporting me for uh, writing to me kind messages for congratulating me on twitter i'm really so happy for, uh, i'm really so happy thank you guys and see you next video bye